Clemson Georgia Tech game. All right, I appreciate it, Tim. Uh, excited to uh, uh, get started in uh, ACC play this week and uh, chase our next goal, and that's to try to win the division, uh, which is what we're what we're focused on. Uh, definitely got a tough challenge. Uh, it's a difficult turnaround for us uh, and for them, both teams, to, to try to be ready. Uh, really, in three days: Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, today is a Thursday practice for us, and we travel to Atlanta tomorrow, so uh, been, a, been a crazy uh, few days uh, getting ready, but uh, love how our team has, has handled it, how they've responded uh, from a preparation standpoint. Uh, Georgia Tech is always an incredibly difficult team to prepare, prepare for each year, but uh, even more so uh, when you got a, a short week to get ready, but again, I think uh, uh, had a great practice last night. These guys are are, uh, are dialed in and excited about uh, starting conference play. Excited about uh, you know uh, having to play our best game to this point. They know that's what it's going to take uh, to have a chance to, to win this game. Uh, uh, their offense is very good, uh, very good. Uh, led by their quarterback, he's a three-year starter. That's uh, knows all the nuances of this offense. He knows where all the crooks and crannies are. Uh, that's what you get with a veteran player. And uh, he doesn't get enough credit for his ability to throw the football. I mean, he, he you'd want to watch the tape and, and, and not see a good, accurate thrower, but he, that's not what you see. I mean, you turn the tape on, and he's making back shoulder throws. He's throwing, uh, uh, I mean, they had a fourth and 20 against Boston College uh, at the end of the game, and he completes a seam route right down the middle, stops the receiver with the ball. Uh, he scored on the first play of the game against Vandy last week, 81-yard touchdown pass. Uh, he's just, he's a little bit more accurate than you'd like to see, uh, you know, as the opposing coach, uh, to go along with all the other stuff that he does in, in running their, their system. So. A uh, very good football player, Justin is. I mean, I mean, just really. Uh, but I knew that when he was in high school down at Pratt. Well, this is a, a great competitor that we have a lot of respect for. And then uh, <clears throat> you mix in all the other pieces, uh, number two and 83 out on the edges. And uh, they're, they're, they're guys in the backfield. Uh, they present a lot of challenges. And uh, so uh, it's going to be, a uh, uh, to me, the biggest challenge that we've had for our defense uh, by far, and uh, with the type of discipline that we'll have to play with to to uh, to be able to uh, do a good job against these guys. Uh, their defense, uh, the same thing. Uh, experienced group up front in their front seven got three of their four starters back. Uh, I think the one guy, uh, I believe '96, got drafted from last year, but three of those other guys are back. Uh, you know, two of the backers are back, so really experienced group uh, for Ted and. And uh, the DBs, uh, they, they did lose their start in secondary, but they're not starting over with freshmen. I mean, they're, they're all, you know, juniors and seniors, and I think one sophomore in there. Uh, so they, they've got some experience, uh, uh, not just guys that are freshmen starting out for them. So, but that is definitely the, uh, uh, the one area where they, they lost the majority of their starters. But a good group, got their punter back, kicker back. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing in playing Georgia Tech and, and really each and every week is, you know, you, you got to try to find a way to win that turnover battle. And, uh, and you know, they're, by nature of what they do, they, they kind of minimize and cut down on some of your possessions that you have offensively anyway. So uh, you can't give them extra possessions and then the field position battle, uh, critical uh, when you're playing these guys. So uh, looking forward to it, proud of our team uh, for being 3-0. and uh, That's obviously where we wanted to be right now. And I think we've improved in a lot of areas uh, over the course of the first three ball games. And, uh, we've, we've had to go on the road into a tough environment and win. Uh, we've had to win where maybe we didn't play quite as well in certain areas. Uh, we've had some big moments in special teams. We've had some, 
some uh, adversity uh, along the way. So I think a lot of things have happened in our first three ball games that uh, I think it put us in a good spot from a mentality standpoint, an opportunity to coach and teach these guys. Uh, so I like where we are. I think our best football is in front of us uh, for sure. I like how we uh, played Saturday. Uh, we played a very clean game, uh, especially offensively. Uh, we, we starting with the Troy game, uh, we, we scored the last three possessions uh, against Troy, a touchdown, touchdown, field goal, and then seven straight to start the South Carolina State game. So uh, really pleased with kind of what I've seen from those guys and, and then the consistency of our defense and uh, same thing in our, our special team. So uh, we're just trying to just, you know, literally just win one day at a time, one week at a time, one game at a time, and, and uh, see if we can continue to uh, battle and keep yourself uh, on track to, to compete for our division. And with that, I'll take uh, your questions.